What should we do with the drunken crimson? I don't know. Hello there, you fine looking boy. We are back with some more Secret of Evermore. And we're going to start exploring this bugmook right now with our dog and find a Strongheart. And he found some wax right there. We're gonna teach all these uh, tar skulls the meaning of Bone Crusher. <laughs> and he's going to teach me the meaning of his teeth. It's like he's punching me with his face while biting at the same time. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I... I'm not sure. I am very spread out in my thoughts and my feelings, so I don't know if I'm happy or sad. I'm just very unsure, that's what I can say. Uh, today is just the day after. It's June 14th. And uh, today is not a good day, because uh, there is a brony meet in Gothenburg. A picnic meet. And I want to be at it so badly, but I can't, because I'm down in South Sweden. Because I'm so stupid. So I hope they're having a great time. Actually, it's right about now. And Brown Crush is level 2. How cool. Yeah, it's uh, actually right in this moment of time they're having the Brony picnic in the forest. And I'm like, fuck man, I want to be there. And uh, right now it's 6 p.m. here. But I'm playing some uh, Secret of Evermore instead. And I'm having a grand old slamming time with that. Just listen to the music. Man, it doesn't get more epic than this. Life is at its uh, breaking point. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, today I worked a lot on uh, my song, Miss Begun. And it's uh, more or less done now. It's uh, It has its final mix. There is two of them right now. There are two final mixes. And what I do is that um, when I begin the last stage of a song, I do the mastering, which is, you know, making sure everything sounds very nice together and, you know, the final product, the final stage of how it sounds. And so I make a first final mix where I just, you know, bring it together, make it sound as good as possible. And then I export it and save it as a music file. And I listen to it day after day and just listen to it and try to find every single detail that I can nitpick on. And trust me, when it comes to nitpicking, I am an expert um, on my own stuff. I like to nitpick a lot on myself and uh, shit. You might know that from these, these commentary videos, I like to nitpick quite a bunch. And so, um, after the first mix was done, the first final mix, I listen to it, and uh, today, and I, every every time I listen to it, I have a notepad, and I take notes of things I would maybe want to change, and things I want to change, and so I filled a list pretty damn fast. I usually do that when uh, the first final mix is done. Um, just make a list of things I want to change, and then today I went through the list and changed a lot of a lot of things. And uh, now the final mix 2 is uh, done. So, as of now, the song is, you know, at the end for me. It's like, perfect, everything is fixed, everything I wanted to change is fixed, all the nitpicks are done, it sounds great, it's done. But I, I don't want to get fooled, because this has happened a lot of times when I make music. Like, I make two final mixes, and then the second one is, okay, great, it's uh, good, there's no, no more nitpicks. But I need to, and I want to, um, do the same thing again. Listen to this final mix too, many times, for days, and you know, keep a notepad, make a, a list. And even though the list might not be as long as the last one, there are still things I'm going to nitpick on. So I'm sorry if you don't find this interesting, but that's what's on my mind. And uh, I didn't say this, well I did, but uh, we got level 2 on the Bone Crusher. That which means that we can go even further than 100% by holding the attack button. And we charge it up to, I, I would guess, 200%. And you do a different attack, which looks like that, and you do much more damage. And so you see, after you, when you bypass 50, or when you get to 50 and beyond, the numbers get fatter. You see, they're quite small, those numbers. 
but once you get to 50, they get fatter. And that really adds to the feeling of, yeah, I'm doing damage now. And this place, I'm doing it very... Oh shit, I'm dying. I'm doing it just, you know, on muscle memory, because I know exactly how to go. But this is kind of a, a labyrinth. If you go wrong, you will have to redo it. And these bridges can collapse like that. And it's like, shit, where do I go? Can I go up here? Nope. You see? So it's kind of a labyrinth, but if you know the way, it's very easy. Of course it is, every labyrinth is. Uh, so we fucked up, because we went the wrong way. And so you have to take this uh, slide down. <laughs> and it's not very often I see that, but... Uh, I found that very funny when I was a child. Just go up here and like, woo! And it all found something over here. Seriously? Is there anything here? Wait, get over here. Alright, so there's something... Oh, maybe it's on the other side. That's probably it. So, if we go into weapon skill right now, we can see that we are at level 2, and... <laughs> the Femur of Fury. Wow. Bone Crusher and Femur of Fury. That's very interesting names. Now, I'm just gonna let my dog kill while I check that I am actually recording everything, because I don't want to fuck up. That's so irritating to record a lot, make a session, and it turns out shit and you have to redo it. It really sucks. So there's something here, right? There it is. Now don't go there. Now there is uh, some... Um, there is a site uh, on this game where they uh, have these huge images of maps, like this entire area, as one image file. And I think that's so cool to see, because I've always seen these uh, places like this, you know, zoomed in where I am and scrolling. But seeing the whole place, you know, in one instance as an image and you can zoom in and all that and see where all the items are, it's so cool. I really like it. Really, really do. So we're almost at the end of this um, labyrinth part. I'm just gonna kill this guy because we will need the experience. Fuck. Come on, doggy, attack him. Ugh, he reached level 6. Amazing. And there we go. Um, I don't think I've shown this, the action. Now, um, oh, I didn't show this either. If you press select, you can control the dog, and then the main character, I mean, Crims, will be com controlled by the computer. So, by going to action, you can uh, decide how is the computer going to control this character. And I want to make him pretty much in the middle, because he, he must survive. So I don't want the computer to be aggressive and go straight in to attacks and die. So I'm gonna keep him a little bit more def defensive, or defensive. And then you can um, select if the dog is only going to search or only fight. Now keeping it in the middle, I think he just does both um, uh, as much, but I think I want to keep him in the middle, because searching it's good, fine shit. And then this is quite confusing for players who don't know these menus, and it doesn't say anywhere what this does, but this is the level of attack. So if the computer is controlling Crims, this will decide if he's just going to attack, even though he has 0% or under 100% attack, you know, this charge. One is that he will only attack and will only use 100% attacks. Two is uh, he will only use, you know, the charged up version. And then there's a third, 300%. That's why how I see it. 100% for the normal, 200 and 300 for the final. And I think I just want to have him at this, because uh, they're not very good at hitting the targets sometimes, so letting him charge up to 200% and then miss is like, fuck man, just keep him there. I think it's more damage per second to have them on one, so I'm just gonna keep him like that. And uh, that's uh, that menu. Let's head up to the next... Wait, might as well kill these guys. How much experience do we need? Okay, so it's not so much. We will level up uh, crims before the boss fight and that boss fight as I said is quite challenging especially for new players But I think with this health and the amount of petals we have and the level 2 bone crusher It will be no problem But hey, we will venture forth in this new stage or new area in the next episode So I will say th th thank you 
as always very much for watching and I will see you next time.